Hello and welcome to this video. I have installed a fresh version of Laravel along with Jetstream and I have this product model set up with all these fields and it is related to the categories model with many to many relationship and what I want to do is I want to create a page where user will be able to search the product based upon various parameters. So I've got this uh, live wire component created along with the view. I'll start with the div. I'm going to create two divs. This would be search form. And this div would hold the actual results. And I will wrap it up in another div. So this is how it currently looks like. So let's uh, work on the pagination first of all. I'm going to import the model at the top. And here I'm going to fetch the products. And I'm only fetching the active products. And I'm going to pass these products. the live wire view and I will also implement the pagination. So let us display all the products over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a forage and I'll create a div padding march and bottom. And within this div, I will display the name, description, price, and rating of the product. And here I will display the pagination with a div. And this will be normal pagination. And if we want Ajax pagination, we need to use this trait, which would change the pagination to Ajax pagination. So now, if I we see that we have all these products and Ajax pagination implemented. Next, we will give the user the option to search by the name of the product. I'll have a text box over here. And as soon as the user types in that search form, this list would be updated. So uh, let us create it over here. And I'll have an input with some tailwind classes. And I will use fire model as well as debounce of 500 millisecond. And I will link it to the property queue which i'm going to create soon type would be search and i will have a placeholder enter product name now let us create this property public dollar queue and we'll search over here I'm going to use when this queue is present, then I'm going to use this callback and an another thing I will do is I'll extract this to a SQL. And pass this query. This is just for development purposes. And I will display that query over here. And if I now search, 
we see that the query is updated and as well as the results are also updated there's one issue that i would like to show if we go to page 3 and then search for something well it is showing us that there are four results however nothing is displayed this is because we are still on page 3 so what we need to do is we'll create a method this is a live wire hook and i'll call it updating followed by the name of property and when the queue is updating i want to set the page to one and we can use the reset page to implement it if i go to page 3 and search for some product name i'm taken to the first page so that is working fine and one final thing that i want to do is this search parameter to be available in the url well we can do so using query strings an array and i'll call it q and i want to, it to be available unless it is empty should be query string so now if we test this one we see that our url is being updated correctly so let us add the functionality to filter our products using category first of all i'm going to import the category model and what over here what i would do is that i would i would fetch all the categories and i will pass them to the component I would display them in our form over here. I'll have a h2 tag with the and here I will loop through all the categories. I would use wire model and i will also use taffer and i'll link it to the category property that i'm yet to create type would be checkbox and id and the value would be category id and then i will have the category name over here let me also create another public property and this would be category remember this category would hold all the selections that user have, has made whereas this categories it will just be all the categories from the database we are not creating it as a public property and we are passing it manually this would be automatically passed and if i and if i reload my browser we see that we have all the categories i'm going to make some changes i'll change this blue to gray and i'll also have the padding four and now if i reload it this is working fine but right now we have not updated the query but you see that since we have used the defer over here these categories would not be reflected in our live component this is because i wanted to search it i wanted to search only when the user click on a search button so i'm going to create this search button and this would fire the search products method so i'm going to create that over here and what this would do is it would reset the page so if i reload it 
we see that search button over here and what I wanted to show is that if I click on this category and click on search even though the records are not updated but if I go to the second page we would see that our categories are now mapped to the live wire property so if I so if, since I selected these two only if and I went to the next page these two were retained so now the next thing that we need to do is we need to search we need to update our search so what I will do is that I will have another when clause and here I'm going to check for this category and then I would have a closure as before and I'm going to search using whereas and the name of the method is categories and then I'm again going to pass a closure and here we need to search in multiple categories so I'm going to use where in and then I'm going to use category ID as this category I'm also going to include it in the query string I'll call it category itself and I want it expect when it is empty and now if I reload it and if I search for these two categories we see that our URL is updated and so is our query being updated so now we are able to filter using the categories next I want to filter the products using the rating so what I'll do is I want these options using which user can filter the products so I'm going to pass these ratings to the view and like we did for the categories I'm going to create a public property and I'm going to call it rating which would be empty initially I also want it to be present in the URL so I'll have this same condition however before we update the query let's work on our form so it will be quite similar to this one this would be filtered by ratings and for each ratings rating I will link it to the rating type would be checkbox well in fact I need to change it to key and rating value would be this key and then I'll have the actual rating instead of checkbox I want it to be radio button we see that we have this rating I made a typo over here this should be accept instead of expect and when I click on it and search by it we see that our URL is updated correctly and now we are going to work on changing our query again I'm going to have this when clause when rating and then we will have closure and I'm going to have this greater than equal to sign and then I'm going to have this rating we see that our we see that our query is updated accordingly and now we are only getting records with the rating of 3 and above now last thing that I want to do over here is that I want to give the user to option to filter using price so these are the pricing options that I have defined I'm going to pass this option to the view and like we have always done we are going to create a public property so I'm going to create two public property one would be minimum price and other would be maximum price 
I would also update the query string with minimum price as well as maximum price. We'll come back to query later on before and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to update our search button and I'm going to call it filter by price and here I'll have two drop downs first one would be for minimum price and the next one would be for maximum price of course you are free to create a slider for it but I'm just going to keep it simple I'm going to use Jetstream label for minimum price and this time I'm going to have a select with wire model and I'm again going to use defer price and here I would have price options SP and here I'm going to have option value as dollar P and then I'm going to display the same price over here same thing I'm going to do for the maximum price we see that we have these two drop downs I'm going to fix this search button by giving it a div and there we go it doesn't look very pretty but it would work for us for the time being so I'm just going to change this minimum price to 10 and maximum to 90 and if I cl click on search and if I click on search we see that price is being updated in the URL so let us work on the query and this is going to be very similar to this rating so I'm just going to copy this one and I'm going to select minimum price and here I'm going to change this to minimum price and similarly we will have one for the maximum price of course this would be less than equal to we see that our query is being updated correctly and only those records are being returned with price between these two ranges and last thing I need I want to do is that I want to create a reset button which would reset all the filter option so let's go to our view and I'll have another button and I'll have that reset products method link to it I'll call it reset remember this component is provided by the jet stream itself in fact I'm going to call it reset filter and I'm going to create this method over here reset filter and here I want to reset all the options so I'm going to use this shortcut which is reset this is going to reset everything so let me select all these options and now we see the reset button if i click on it everything is cleared up and now we are returned all the records so with that we have completed our search form using the live wire we implemented Ajax pagination, we implement Ajax search, we were able to filter the products using categories which was a many to many relationship and we were also able to use drop down as well as select box to further refine the products. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.